Hello there. I didn't see you. <laughs> Nursing school Stephanie here, and I am here to give you 10 ways to pass biochemistry through WGU the first time. I'm on a lot of social media platforms that uh, are in, um, just kind of support groups through for WGU. And a lot of people are struggling with biochemistry. So I'm going to give you 10 ways to pass biochemistry the first time. Okay. Number one, and a lot of people don't think about this, is you take your PA before you read anything. Okay. Before you even click on any of those other chapters, take your PA. This goes against everything that we have personally because we don't want to fail. You're going to fail this first time. But after you take the PA, you're going to know how the, the OA is set up. You're going to know kind of what information to look through and also what your strengths and weaknesses are. Okay, so number two, that leads us to number two, is reading the chapters. Go through, skim it, not just visually look at it, but skim the material and then answer each of the questions at the end of the sections, okay? So the whole reason for that, just the skim, is you're going to skim the information, and then you're going to go through and pick out the answers with those end-of-section questions. Number three, use Khan Academy. Focus on really what you don't want to focus on, right? Because that information, what's fun, is usually what we're really good at. What we don't want to work on is what we suck at, right? right here. I wanted to do, <laughs> I wanted to do the mRNA all day long and I did not want to do glycolysis. I had had, I've been in microbiology before um, because I, I was pre-med the last time I went to, to college and at a uh, brick and mortar. And so I knew a lot about um, the units one, through five, but units six and seven, I had always kind of been intimidated by, so I didn't want to get into them. Well, it was because I didn't want to get into them that, um, that, that I knew that that's something that I struggled with and that I actually needed to spend more time on. So Khan Academy is a great way to go in and really see step-by-step -step little sections of, of that content that you're just not as familiar with. Obviously, YouTube. YouTube is a great resource. And just as an example, those units five and six, units five is over um, glycolysis. Well, hmm, car and carbohydrates, I guess, carbohydrates. And, but anyways, but a lot of it has to do with glycolysis and the breakdown of carbohydrates. Well, I watched just on glycolysis alone about 20 videos. And that was the breakdown through glycolysis and then the Krebs cycle, electron transport chain, and et cetera, et cetera, right? So I watched a video, multiple videos on each step of the cycle. YouTube is your friend. I know the cycles now. <laughs> okay. Um, number five, uh, break the units into learnable sections and make colorful notes. I have a, it, well, it, it's a, a photo book, right? So a big photo book. And on each page is another step of the carb cycle, right? So I've got glycolysis and then I have the pyruvate and then I have the citric acid cycle. And then I drew the electron transport chain and then the Cori cycle. So I have each of those written down, colored and labeled, color coded and labeled, right? You wanna make sure that whenever you're color coding, whoop, I have three things full of this. Yeah, it's candle wax, whoops. <laughs> but make sure, studies have shown that whenever you use different colors, it actually helps for memory retention. So yeah, I always recommend that. Uh, keep a study schedule and stick to it for number six, right? It requires massive amounts of discipline. I know this, I've said this in one of my other videos. You have to have discipline in order to do a an online process, right? Because it's not like you're 
you have a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule that you have a certain time that you're actually scheduled to be in class. So you have to have the discipline to study. Like I said before, you're going to have to study um, at, at least 30 30 hours a week, 25 to 30 to 36 hours a week. You have to, that, there's just no getting around it guys. It, you just got to put the work in. <laughs> there, there's no, there's no easy shortcut for that. Um, number seven, and this is one that is, that is included in those study hours. Okay. Attend every live cohort possible. And here's how to make that effective for the ones that you are not on. Okay. Don't ask a million stupid questions because you're not going to get the information, right? I think I covered this also. Don't ask a million stupid questions. You're not going to know the information. You're not. You're there to listen, right? And uh, a lot of people who would just watch the cohort, that cohort is there as a study supplement, okay? You're supposed to come into those already prepared, but here's the way to use it otherwise, Okay, I watched mul the same cohort multiple times while I was studying that unit. I would go back and listen to cohorts that, that were already being offered that I had already heard of, right? Already went through and studied. And I would jump ahead and go ahead and listen to those cohorts so that whenever I did get to that information, anytime I would read it on a page or go back and watch another video on YouTube, I automatically got it, right? Don't ask, don't ask questions. Don't ask questions. Just listen. Okay. Don't try to understand it. Just listen and make notes. Okay. And number eight, just like we took the PA before we took any information, we're going to take the PA after we finish all the units, right? All the course content, go back, get your coaching report, look up the information of why that is the correct answer, right? Work out those problems. In that, you are going to be going through and skimming more of that information on the content that you didn't necessarily grasp or that you may have more questions on, rather than going through and studying the entire course again, you're able to focus on individual pieces that you need to go ahead and study to pass the PA or the OA, I'm sorry. Number nine, get outside help. You have your course mentor more than able to help your course instructors. They're, I love the biochemistry group. They are an amazing group of instructors, amazing group of instructors, very knowledgeable and very, uh, they make themselves very available to you. Uh, but last, you can also get a tutor. A tutor, just so you know. <laughs> but um, get a tutor. You know, uh, there there are charges for tutors, whereas those course instructors will be available to you for free. But sometimes it's easier to have a a peer rather than you know than uh, somebody who has like three three master's degrees and a doctorate. No, I'm just kidding. I love you guys. You guys, I cannot stress though how awesome <laughs> and approachable that uh, the biochemistry teachers are. I was really sad. I was sad to be out of that class. I absolutely love biochemistry. Biochemistry and medical sciences are my thing. And uh, I was very sad to say goodbye to those instructors because they really, really, really um, helped to kick off my my college experience so anyways number 10 and i did save the most important for last and i want to say this a little louder for those in the back okay do not let me repeat do not take the oa until you pass the pa repete do not take the OA until you pass the PA, okay? I see this not only with biochemistry, but I see it a lot in med dose, okay? People are taking the, um, the OA after bombing the PA. You know, you go and you take the PA, you review the questions, and you think you're ready? Mm-mm. No, you got that fresh, sick burn on you, right? It burns, right? No, 
No, you take that PA again. Well, I'll memorize the answers. No, you'll know why the answer is correct, right? So you, you're looking at those, you're committing them to memory, and one by one, you're developing your strength in that. I don't care if you have to take that PA 10 times, right? You're gonna be sick of it, but I guarantee you what, by the end of taking that PA 10 times, you're gonna know the information enough to go and pass the OA, okay? Um, too many people are taking the PA, bombing it, reviewing, and then bombing the OA. Go back through, review the information, clear your head mentally, and then go kick some booty, okay? Then go kick some booty. All right, well, if you have any more questions, please feel absolutely free to ask me anything that you would like. There's a little something below and I will definitely, I take requests if you have any questions about any of the other, um, about the program, or uh, I can give you my viewpoint. Obviously my viewpoint is gonna be different than someone else's, et cetera, et cetera, but I am more than happy to answer any questions. So go kick some booty. <laughs>